Uh, so, Rob, Phil Handy, uh, who I believe has been on the show before. I know Phil. Uh, assistant coach. Well, he, he was he in the group. Done he was around in the, the house. got fired. <laughs> uh, but was assistant coach with the Lakers and was with Cleveland when Kyrie and LeBron was there. He posted, uh, was it on Instagram or on Twitter? On, it was on Instagram. Uh, a picture of him and Kyrie at the finals. Uh, pro- Might have been, it could have been either Cleveland or, or Oakland because it was when they were playing Golden State. And he pa- with the photo, he posted this caption, Rob. I usually reserve my comments on certain things, but not today. There's a lot of people in the hoop world who owe this man, meaning Kyrie, public apologies. Some of y'all tried to bury this dude and kill his career based on what you heard and not what you know. Word to the unwise. If you don't know someone, you probably shouldn't speak on them. Media and others always have their narratives, but the real ones know. Kyrie, keep doing your thing. Y-O-G. Bean would be proud. More work to do, but damn, it's got it's good to see this dude in the finals. Hashtag put some respect on his name. Rob, your thoughts. Nobody said that Kyrie Irving couldn't play basketball or wasn't a great player. I just Chris, show me that. Now there were people who said he should retire and not this and that, all that. But who t- who said he couldn't play? Nobody. Chris, did we ever talk about that on this if show? If you say Kyrie couldn't play at any point in your life, you or his career, you shouldn't be talking about basketball. TV that we no, I know that never came up on right. this radio no, 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 show. No, 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 no. That he couldn't play basketball. The stuff that Kyrie got himself into, Kyrie got himself into. You right. can't always one is one thing and 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 another thing. Uh, one is basketball, Chris, and one is a public perception or you representing the league and the team and other things that are going on, whether you agree or disagree, those are things that come with being a public figure, Chris, and working for somebody else. It just, that's that's how it is. Right. It has nothing to do with him getting to the finals. A public apology of what? I, I think, seriously, now, now, if he's talking about somebody specific or some other situation, but Chris, I, I just, you would have to refresh my memory for anybody who thought that Kyrie can't play. We said he's one of the most talented guys out there. It's a shame that it never worked in Brooklyn if those guys would have played together. We died. We wanted to see that we work. We picked them to win. We yes. were supportive of them. How many years did we do that, Chris? We both thought that they should win. Here's and what I, mean, I say to Phil, and I know Phil goes way back with Kyrie. I mean, he's which worked is fine. with Kyrie I, privately which is fine. a lot, and he's helped him out, no doubt. But here's the deal. The overwhelming majority of the criticism that Kyrie got, he brought on himself. That, thank you, Chris. That, that, there's it's no just, other way of getting around that. He, which is, this is his right. But he demanded out of Cleveland, right? When they were a team that maybe was capable of winning more championships. he And now he'd love to play. I mean, he's obviously happy with Luka. But he, he came back to realize, you know what? I had a great situation playing with LeBron. That in and of itself, like he admits that now, that he, he'd love to play with LeBron again. Had a great situation with him. And so that clearly was a mistake. And then told, said, threatened reportedly to have knee surgery if they wouldn't trade him. He goes to Boston and says that he's looking forward to staying there, and then he leaves. I remember that. I'm staying if you'll have me, and then he's gone. And then he leaves. He goes to Brooklyn. Now, injuries aren't his fault, but but. Earlier in his career, and really for the first two-thirds of his career, I mean, most of his career, he's been injury-prone, so there's that. But, Rob, he really did say they don't need a coach, right? When Steve Nash was brought in, we we don't really need a coach. We're going to kind of all do it together. He really did say that. 
You know, um, he really did take off a few weeks, Rob, for like one. Didn't he take off a week for January 6th? Yeah. Because of that. I mean, a lot of people didn't like what happened on January 6th. We still came to work. You just can't do that. And so, and then he did, you know, at, now the anti-vax, that's his right. But, you know, I mean, some people were critical of that. I was like, look, it, if that's it, what he wants to do. He can do it. But, it, you know, it, it definitely hurt their season. I mean, and, and Chris, to say the least. The big thing was. But that's his right. There were mandates in New York. He couldn't play. Other players we saw, Wiggins in in uh, California or in San Francisco, right? No, in Oakland, I guess, right? right? They had to take the shot, yep. and he took it. And Wiggins they guess decided what? to take it. They won a championship. He played yep. great that year. They won a championship. So yep. so Wiggins was, was questionable on it. He did it, and they won. Yep. Uh, so, uh, and, and there was, a, I think Kyrie was only, there was only like, I don't know, three players who didn't. Who didn't there play? Was, well, I thought there were two. There Brad, wasn't Bradley Beal the other one. I think Bradley Beal Rob and Andrew Wiggins. I, I don't think it was more than two or three no, so, players. So right? Andrew Wiggins got it because, like Kyrie, if he didn't get it, he couldn't play in California. Right. 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 Bradley Beal, Beal did not get it, but they didn't have the same mandates in DC. Okay. Okay. So it wasn't as big of a deal. And for then him. remember, players right. couldn't go to Canada. You remember they couldn't right. play in Toronto. Right. And then right. that's also not counting Kyrie during you know the height of COVID when they had lockdowns in place and he was flouting it by going to nightclubs and things like that. Right. And he got he got fined for that. Right. And that's not even counting as we get further on into his tenure, the uh, documentary that he Situation pushed out with the book, and yeah. then refused to apologize. Didn't even speak to management for weeks on end because he had his agents doing it and he and, was suspended. And right. and then wound up apologizing. Wound up apologizing. Which he could have apologized. The thing with that and, and Kyrie and he admitted some of the stuff in that book and documentary he didn't agree with. Right? And that's those are actually the things people were asking him to apologize for. Nobody was saying you 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 should how dare you say the Hebrews were black. Nobody was saying that. You know, there there are plenty of black Hebrews, you know, and, and so I it know was I watched the, him on the Ten Commandments. I'm just saying. Well, I ain't seen any on the Ten Commandments. <laughs> well, just, <laughs> Everybody was white on that, even though it was in Africa. I know. And the Middle East, I've right? Been to, I've been to Africa, Chris, and nobody, nobody was white, white in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you know what I'm saying? So, I, like, it, I get Kyrie wanting to stand on what he believes and his principles, but it was like you're admitting these things you don't agree with, so why not just apologize for those things? Again, nobody was saying apologize for saying the Hebrews were black and things like that. Um, but it, that was where pride got to him. And then, of course, when he didn't get the max deal, after all of that commotion he caused, that led to James Harden, Rob, wanting out, right? Because Kyrie wasn't playing because yep. of the anti-vax stance. And after all of that commotion... He gets mad because they won't give him a max contract and then demands a trade. And and so everything, like, and he didn't like I said. he get a max contract in Dallas. He got three years, 120, which is way below his market value. Market value. That's what he wanted yep. because he didn't get his way. He didn't get his way in Dallas. Yep. And so you're right. That's right. He. I mean, I think the Nets would have probably paid him a deal. More than that. To that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I mean, every what what of those things? What is like wrong? He look. He said the Earth is flat. He got mocked for that, but that wasn't. No, you didn't get that punished Christmas for wasn't it. a holiday. Was that the other one? I don't remember. Yeah, something, it shouldn't be or something like that. Yeah. And, and he ended up apologizing for saying the Earth was flat. He talked to some teachers. They said the kids are starting to believe this mess, and he went out and apologized for it. So a lot of this stuff, Kyrie's all he has come out and apologized, and. Now, if you look at it now, Rob, he's not doing the things that people were criticizing him for or people were raising eyebrows about. And so now they can just focus on his basketball. So I, I don't know. I mean, Kyrie, is, I think he has said, we certainly said he's grown and matured. Um, but the fact that he's not doing the things he did in the past to earn that criticism does he, what's there to apologize for? I did say, 
I don't know that this is apology worthy. I said I didn't think Dallas should give him a long term deal. That had nothing to do with him like not liking him or anything. That was it just was about a, him proving and that was analysis again, right? right on if you give him a long term deal, he might start taking weeks off again. He might, you know what I mean? You just don't know with his track record. But that's not that's just looking at the situation and commenting. That's like saying I should apologize for picking the Timberwolves right. over the over the Mavericks. You know, no, it just was wrong. I, I admit it was wrong. I'm glad. I, certainly, the the Mavericks made the right move, and Chris Broussard was wrong in saying they shouldn't have given him a long term deal. But that's it's not necessarily an apology. Apology, right? I don't know. I you know, so I don't. I just if it'd be one thing, Rob, if he was being unfairly maligned, but he really did all those things. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I, I just, I don't see an apology. If somebody said, uh, Kyrie's washed up. I, if I'm Dallas, they're crazy. You know what I mean? I wouldn't trade for that guy or whatever it is. Then then maybe you could say you were so wrong or whatever, or you, or you did something or said something, Chris, that was out of pocket. I just don't remember that. I really I don't. Know and I know we, we talked about Kyrie, Rob, especially with the documentary and stuff. We we never said he was a bad guy. We said we think he means well. I don't even think he necessarily read that book or saw the documentary. I thought he thought it was interesting. The title from Negro from Hebrews to Negroes and all that stuff. Um, I thought that intrigued him. Um, but no, I, we never have criticized his character. No, nope. at or all his play. What that he couldn't or, play? Certainly not his play. So I, I just think. You I know, think people, Kyrie people is like to do that, Chris. Yeah, you know, like yeah, they get on their high control. horse. Yep. And uh, he won. He's going to the finals, and now I'm going to rub it in everybody's face. Right. I, I, would I be think like, Stephen A. did. Rob, G, he said he might, should retire. He did apologize. I think. Right. Because he said he said he should a, retire. Yeah, and that's strong. That was, I mean, but I think even that, and that's strong. And Stephen A. apologized. But I also think he was just saying kind of – was that after – It was like if you don't want to play, then right, you it was Right, it was, was kind of like if you're not going to play, just – yeah, it was more – I after can't the, remember It exactly. might have been after the vaccination thing, like he wasn't playing. like Right, so if you really don't want to play, then – You then should just, just retire. retire. I think yeah. it was of that ilk. Yeah, yeah. 